Hello, hello again, everyone. I'm Digital Spectre, and welcome back to Infliction. Uh, this is part four. This is probably going to be the last part. Uh, last, uh, last time we found uh, we found the picture in the in the wedding veil, and now we have to find something that was close to her family. I guess, um, if I recall, it said something about maybe jewelry. So, uh, so yeah, we're just gonna jump back in and see if we can't uh, help put put uh, put our wife to rest in the nightmare, maybe. Should be this episode, though, so. Good times. We shall see. Walking 95 deaths. 60% of those were alcohol-related. Slaughterhouse the down there is some really, really weird shit going on. Just needs a woman's touch. A cold day to change the man out here. Okay, right. <clears throat> Waking up in, um, where are we at? Maggie's room? Yeah, oh, the sky's all crazy red and stuff. Good, good times, man. Okay, cool. Hang on just a sec. I need to bump my audio some before it blows my eardrums. Okay, okay, back, back in we go. Let's see. All right. Uh, got a new notebook. It looks like. Why don't you fight back? Mum equals is mouse useless meaningless. Deadbeat asshole dickhead. Short for dad. Or dad with yeah. Dear diary, I haven't spoken to dad in years. We avoid each other as much as possible. He's always drinking and I'm scared to talk to him. Mama's a mess. She's so weak. I hate them both. I hate it here. I'm a prisoner in my own room. I can't have my friends over. I stay at Bridget's house as much as I can. It's time for a change. I met a boy two months ago. His uh. name is Carl, and I think I love him. Oh. I told him about everything yesterday. My oh, dead Maggie. brother, drunk father, and drugged up mother. I thought he'd run for the hills, but he says he wants to save me. He says we should run away, and I think I will. What is my future here? I can't stay. I feel bad leaving my mom, but if she ever grew a spine, she'd have taken me away from here years ago. I have to go. Oh, Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Never run away with a boy in high school that you fell in love with two months prior. He wants to save you, huh? Okay. Well, I wonder if she actually ran away. Last I heard... Uh, Gary and Maggie were getting ice cream. Uh, and I'm sure that was way before high school. All right. <clears throat> ah. Okay. All right. Where are we at? The sky is blood red. That's always a good sign. Murder room. Can't turn the light on anymore. That's a bummer. Anything new in here? Nine one one. Oh. Okay. Well, now the painting keeps changing. It's that alien picture. That's what it, she looked like—an alien in the other, in that one picture. All right. Homework before. Uh, but before that, Jesus. Okay. All right. Where are we now? Psych psychiatric hospital. Okay. Hmm. What we got? Oh, nice. Perfect. Don't mind me. Can I click? No. Another one. Is this it? 
Penance Asylum, Gary Powell. Frontal lobotomy has been performed. The patient is yet to regain consciousness. However, the shape of the cranium shows a little improvement. Okay. You were lobotomized, huh? Perfect. He's all Gary. Gary Powell delusion. Shatter his mind. Oh, wow, that's very tiny. His mind, something visual and auditory stimulation. Uh, only once the mind is fully broken can we put it back together again. Saturation every day until the patient is responsive. Far gone. Well, it won't let me play and text it, so I can't really tell. Okay. All right, Gary. You know, multiple, multiple personalities. The patient has multiple personalities of a highly aggressive nature. Removal of the M something amygdala to reduce violent tendencies is the fastest way to resolve this issue. Patient non-responsive since procedure. Removed amygdala. Huh. When did all this take place? What do you got here? It suddenly got very quiet. Let's see. Dearest Dr. Tennis, I've tried to get you to face tried to get you face to face, however, my movements around the facility are somewhat restricted. This is actually the reason for writing. I understand the need for heightened security, but I am unable to complete my work. I'm sending the bodies down the chute to that obese gentleman you have down in the morgue as per in my instructions. But I am unable to file my paperwork with the front office as it's always locked. You keep the only key in your office, making my access very limited. I am kindly uh, ask that you supply a copy of the key for me. I eagerly await your response. Regards, Dr. Mender. <clears throat> So is this dude's office key or something? Typewriter? Nope. Oh, the desk is locked. Does this work? Nope. Okay. Sending bodies down the chute. Opium. Lots of opium. Poison. Heroin. Good times. What year is this? You're still treating mental patients with heroin. Who knows? Hmm. Well, let's see what's at the end of the hall, I guess. Hello? Can't get in. Inventory. Tennis Asylum. Maximum security is operating theater, lunchroom, guard quarters, reception buttons. No, this don't work. What? It's cracked though. Let me out. Camera? What the f That is delicious looking. Just make it go away. No, it's just here now. What the fuck? All right, well, let's so check these other rooms then. I don't know, man, that's weird. Giant intestines just show up in front of me. Uh, more opium and heroin. It's a party hospital. Chloroform, great. Laudanum. Hmm. It's like old world medicine, man. What are they, uh, what are they? Uh, you? You? Oh, hey, check it out, the shoot. <clears throat> well, I guess we're going down the chute. You have to go see Billy Bird.
first. Jesus, man. That was smart. Dive down belly first. You're supposed to treat it like a slide. Sit on your butt. Go down. Jackass. <clears throat> then you wouldn't be taking so many naps. And your face might not be as broken. What? Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh shit, get in! Oh fuck! What the fuck? Wow, you are looking great. Well, I found the obese gentleman. <laughs> Turns out he's just eating the eating the patients. <sighs> okay. Five deaths. Sixty percent of those were alcohol related. Oh, the great. slaughterhouse down the there was some really, really great shit going on. Just needs a woman's touch. A cold day wow. changed wow. man out there. Moves quick for a big view. That was uh, that was a thing that happened just now. Okay, all right, here, get up, man. You always, always. Taking naps, laying down on the job. It's time we gotta find. Uh, we gotta find some. I guess I need to I'll grab this memory again. I want to listen to her talk about Carl. Dear diary. Yep, got it. Time to go. All right. What do we do? All right. <clears throat> well, I know where I'm going straight away, actually. So. to the door, pal. Okay, alright, taking the elevator. Sure, why not? Seems like a good idea. Tall, super tall guy, apparently, too. Bye bye. Enjoy your, uh, what? People. What the fuck was it? What is it? Silent Hill? 
Understanding that every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Uh -huh. Do you understand the extent of your actions? No. Nope. The tormentor can become the tormented. The giver of gifts can become the receiver. I only got six months in the bucket. This reality isn't real. It's only a reflection. Yeah, whatever you say, pal. Of you. Okay. We'll be back after these messages. That was great. Very inspiring. What's this? Mom, I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. I can't do this anymore. Do you know how many times I hid under my bed listening to Dad hurting you? Falling asleep under the bed to the sound of you crying? I hate you for not taking me away from here years ago. I'm running away with my boyfriend and I won't be coming back. I'd be safer living on the streets than I am here, and that's no way for me to live. I'm old enough now to understand that none of this is normal. Maybe we'll see each other again someday, but I never want to see him again. Get help, Mom. I do love you. Love always, Maggie. Well, that's unfortunate. At least she got out, though. Okay, alright, you know. I guess I understand her running away with Carl. Fuck's sake, god damn it. Whoa. Hello, nice pictures. I'm gonna be, uh, delicious. Great, perfect. Okay, okay, alright, alright, what we got? I can't go in the kitchen. What? Hello? Are you? You're. Oh. Uh, fuck. I can't hide under this bed. Hey, lovely. Jesus, fuck, man. Oh. Holy shit. That's terrifying. That, that is pretty fucking scary. I'm. There's like limited places I can hide here. Um, so, yeah. I hid once. Smacked her with the camera. What am I supposed to do? Run back to the same room over and over again? I don't want to do that. Ah, lovely. And we're back home. I'd love to do that. Oh my fuck! Oh my god! I'm sorry. I had to get a little uh, pink and pixie poo at that. Oh my god! No! 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 That's not cool, man. You can't crab walk at me or run crab run. I can't even sprint. 
I can't even sprint and she can crab run. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh. Try like face your fears or whatever, looking right at her, but Jesus. Well, that's new and interesting. <sighs> Sleepy boy. Frickin' A, man. That is, uh, that's pretty disturbing. Okay, get in. None of that crab walk fuckery, please. Because if she's at that level, she can see me under the bed. Is that? Oh fuck! Hello? Oh shit! She's here! Fuck it under the bed! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh! What the fuck? Shit, man. I mean, I am, uh, yeah, well, that's not helping me out much. What the? F that never happened. Yes. Throw the switch. Bright light. She can't stand it. Yeah, I, I, I know that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for the insight. You find me a switch and I'll throw it. The world makes sense through the lens of a bottle. In here, I'm not me. Fuck. Hey, hey, what's that? Oh, it didn't work! Fuck! <laughs> I'm getting real tired of waking up on the same floor over and over again. Christ. Too soon, I guess. Honestly, no clue, uh, no clue. There isn't a switch. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I know that she doesn't like light. That's fine. There's not a phone here now.
right at that ass. I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta move. Fuck. Okay, good. I can't go to the basement. That's great. Dennis, the doctor. Good. Ostium. 12th of April, 1996. I hadn't spoken to him in what seemed like an eternity. No, so shocked when he asked me to come back to the cabin. I assumed he wanted to fix a marriage. Assumed. Maybe try to move past everything and start over. Last time we were at the cabin, it was so romantic until the freak show started. And I vowed never to go back, but if we'll help our marriage, I'll try anything to end this nightmare. Once we got there, he just started babbling about this being the place of conception and rummaging through that fucked up basement. I don't know if I should be indulging him or getting help. I want him to get help, but I'm scared of how he'll react. Okay, well, what's this say? <clears throat> Let's see. It's come to my understanding that many of subordinates. It's come to my come to my understanding that many of you are complaining about access to the front office. There will be there will continue to be only one key, and that key will continue to stay with me. As you may or not, may not be aware, the house safe is located in the front office, and I refuse to allow simply anyone access. If you need to lodge your lodge your paperwork, send it all down to the morgue, and Mr. Crave will file it on your behalf. Okay, Dennis. All right. Copy that. I'm going to take a picture of this because it seems like the most obvious thing. It's wifey. What? Oh. Okay. Hang on. Let me take that again. Cup, cup triangle, weird thingy, another triangle. There we go. Seems totally normal to be in a doctor's office. Can I please? Fuck. Hello? Oh. Perfect. What did I do? Oh shit. You! June 6, 1996. Gary's gone totally insane. Since... Since Michael. And he terrifies me. He terrifies Maggie, too. I should have left with Maggie years ago. 
but I love him. And I can't just leave him like this. Maggie sure ran away. You've got a daughter to She hates me for not standing up to him. She's right. And I don't know where she is. But now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I wish my Gary would come home. Instead, I'm stuck here with that drunk monster. We were all so happy. How did we get here? It's been ten years now. And I'm so dumb I can barely get out of bed. And I'm trying my hardest to stop taking the pills, but it's all I have now. And I wish I could change things. For Maggie's sake. Maybe she's better off without us. No, Sarah, she's not better off without her parents. She's better off without the drunk one, sure. But, she's right. You should have lived with her a long time ago. And you didn't. Because you love Gary, who is far from redemption. Should have, uh, should have bolted a long time ago. Because, uh, yeah. That. Well, okay. New jewelry in here. Can't go anywhere but up, I guess, so... There's a little jewelry box in our room. What? Oh, okay. Wow, that's really cool. like that one a lot. That one's pretty freaking cool, actually. Okay, alright. Sounds. Okay, all right. Here, uh, home slice down there, cutting up some more, uh, cut some some more snacks for himself. An office. Oh, that's lovely. It's actually really cool. Dude. We got. Wait, 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 wait. Ten left, fifty right, five left. Okay, hang on. Ten left. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, hang on. Look at that. Okay. God damn it. Ten left. Fifty right. And five. What we got? Jewelry. Adage. So lock it. Okay. Take it. Hey! It's uh no. Ah, what? Ah, ah. I deserve that. I deserve that. I think. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened. <sighs> Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Gary's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. And she hates me for not standing up to him. She's but right. now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. But I love him. And I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Wait. That's different. I found all this stuff. Burn the items. Copy that. To the fireplace. If I can fucking make it. Oh, great. 
Oh, now the fire's out. Isn't that fucking convenient? Son of a beach. Kitchen. What? Whoa. What the fuck? I'm not me. Who are you? I'm lost. This again, huh? Deadly sins. Wow, that was a crazy little transition there. Massimo, buddy. our broadcast today. Okay, I need a candle. Candles always light the way. Gotcha. Got any? She broke my light. How dare you? Candle? Candle? In the bathroom? Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? I am... What the fuck is happening? Exercise her from yourself. Okay, uh, what? Ow, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Where are the goddamn candles and why won't the text go away? Just get a lighter and a can of hairspray. Okay, man. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. She possessed me. Holy shit. What else? What, <laughs> what are they going to think of next? Once possessed, there are areas of the house where the ghost can kill you from within. There are areas. These areas can be identified. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. What the frick? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I know there's a lot of death happening in this, in this episode, but Jesus. Harry's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. And she hates me for not standing up to him. She Maybe right. I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I can't just leave him like this. I'm sick of listening to this chick. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Stand up, buddy. Jesus, man. Sick of, sick of dying. 
fuck's sake. Can we just fucking get this shit over with? Ugh, lady. Maggie, do you get any candles? No? Hey, there's another, uh... Oh, I've already been through this. Wait, actually. You've taken so much, I have no faith left. I hate you. Oh, well. Yeah. Bring an A, man. I need a candle. Anyone got a candle? No candles in the baby room. That door is locked. Always locked. Trash can? What that? Oh, okay, so like reality is mixing with other realities. Give any matches. Gone, lady. Just trying to find a candle. What? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. I banished you. You didn't do the thing. Ah, oh, frick. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Face your demons. Fuck. I am stuck! Oh, God damn it. Okay. Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Okay. This is just getting uh, obnoxious now. Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Gary's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. And she hates me for not standing up to I him. I hate you too, Maggie. I'm starting to hate you. And I wish my little girl would come home. No, I don't like you. Yeah, I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. You did it to yourself. You decided to stick around with an insane person. Get up, man. Let's do this, okay? There's nothing upstairs, so I'm going downstairs now. I got. I mean, I don't. I was sort of stuck. Stuck upstairs. There's nothing up here, so. Yep. Bish. Stay out of me. Stay out of my body. I want you inside me. And of course. Let's listen to Massimo cook some more. Public access. You got a candle, but you got a candle, Massimo? No? Okay. What? That is hot. I like that. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I'm going insane. Hey, this is a, a lighter. Yes. Now I just need to make my way back to the fucking... Oh, yeah, okay, great, perfect. God dang it. Nope. Stay back. Demon. Nope. Fuck. She got 
got me. I wonder if it's avoidable, I'm not sure, because I uh, used the camera flash and it didn't seem to do anything. Fuck, okay. A search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been... So here he stands. Does he understand the extent of his crimes against his eternal soul? Shush, I've heard you already. What's this say? Big sale. Perfect. 40% off, that's great. Alright, um... Hello? Ah, oh, fucking another lighter. Come on. Light for daddy. Come on. Yes! Suck it! That's one down. Oh, everything else hit, man. Okay. Take that. Return to the scene of the crime. Oh, what? Oh! We gotta go around then. Yikes. How am I supposed to do that? She's gonna kill me. I can literally not get up there. Oh my. Uh, wait. I'm a fucking. I'm an idiot. Oh, god dang it. Did I do a bad? Son of a bitch. How? I don't know how I'm supposed to exercise her. I honestly don't. I don't know what's going on. I thought the, uh... Yes, the room is upstairs and I can't fucking get up there. Okay, let's see. Actually, hang on. See. Maybe there's, uh... No. That's not it. Is there... There's no... Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright. God damn it! You bitch! What am I supposed to do? I can't walk upstairs. This is, this is starting to get stupid. What, man? Damn. Christ. Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Carrie's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. She hates me for not standing up to him. She's right. Maybe I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. And naturally it doesn't save whenever I get, you know, burn the actual items. I have to do that all over again. Boy, this is great. This is fun. So much fun. You gotta burn the fucking items again. Yeah, great. I am so excited. Alright. Ugh! Oh, You're pissing me off, lady. Friggin' can't light her at.
Well, this is new. What the hell? This is not helping me this time. The lighter is not in the same spot. June 6, 1999. I'm in hell, and he's on his way there. I'm so weak, I can't even look at my own face in the mirror. Oh, fuck. Last time I did, I saw a twisted husk smiling back at me. I feel like his madness is rubbing off on me. So afraid of him that I slept under the bed last night. This needs to end one way or another. Going to get us both some help tomorrow. I, I need to talk my life out and find Maggie. I haven't seen her in three years. I just hope it's not too late. You fucking suck. What? My god, this is annoying. She- How am I supposed to uh, exercise her? They're not giving me any fucking clue on how to do that. Ugh. That doesn't do anything. Come on. Damn it. Come on, man. What the fuck am I supposed to do? So annoying. Not telling me anything. Okay, you think that, you know, burning the crap would, would exercise her, but I guess not. Of course. I can't, I can't fucking go this way. Oh my god. Was that all it, I mean seriously, was that all it took was just staying far away? That's not much help uh, whenever I'm trying to go up the stairs. Any more candles? A little lighter. There we go. Of course. All right. Why? Why would it work? Why would it work, eh? You tell me, huh? Why would it work? I don't know. I don't know why it would work. I'm getting very peeved. I apologize. But this is just obnoxious at this point. Shouldn't be this difficult to figure this this out. Yeah, right. Third time's a charm, perhaps? It was the second go-around last time. What is with the the picture? What the fuck? No, the lighters are working. Really? Go away, be gone, demon. Guess not. Lovely, lovely pictures. Not a lighter in here, no. Trying to get me to go upstairs now. Unfortunately, I cannot make it upstairs without getting iced. Now look, check this out. Sins. No, uh, no hints, no directions. Use a clue. Get out of me! Why didn't that work before? Oh my god. I'm going, you know what? I'm going to turn this light out. 
I know where I can get back. Go up the damn stairs, bro. Before it's too late. Wow, that was... That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to exercise myself. You're not gonna give me another lighter? Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta... Do. Here I am. Hello. How's about a lighter? No? No, why would you, right? Why would you, why would you give me a lighter? Keep me running around like a chicken with his head cut off. She's gone. I'm missing something down, I guess downstairs, I don't know. You got a lighter in here? Just a foot? Great. Doesn't help me. Appreciate it, though. Uh, can I look at you? Nope. Come on, just give me, give me something. Give me a flame. Fuck's sake. This is a bummer, man. I see no more candles or anything like that either, so... Honestly, you just let me go. Worked in two tries last time, and now I get uh, zilch. Fucking shite. No lighters? Of course not. Lighters. Anywhere. No. Well, the room's back to normal. What? Can I just use... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh! I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> I'm a moron. Go away, lady. Shit. I'm a. Uh, I'm not wasting any damn time. I'm gone. Fuck. Uh, I'm back. Spread. Spread them. Whence you came, demon. Oh my god! I, I, you vanished! Ah. What the fuck? I don't know what was creepier, her, her spirit form or that smile. Jesus. I couldn't quite understand what the fuck she said there at the end. Huh? No. Leave this place. Okay, alright. Certainly. Don't have to tell me twice. Looking normal again. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> No, I don't know why I do this. It's time to go, man. It's been time. You're overdue. 
<sighs> no, no, no. Let me the fuck out. Oh, okay, alright, garage, right. What? Just let me go. What the fuck? Just let me go. Yes, that's not gonna not gonna let me go. Her picture's normal again. Oh right, I forget. I I came into the kitchen last last time. At the beginning. All right. Well, buy a house. I. Uh, um. Will not miss you. I do not miss you. Wait, wait, wait. Just open the garage door and leave, bro. What? Why is this open? There's still a, a spirit painting.
Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to um, cut away from the credits for a little bit. Uh, wow, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think. Uh, I'll give you some thoughts here in a second. Just so I can talk a little bit. <laughs> so I'm noticing um, I'm noticing these these indie developers uh, that are that are pushing these horror games out are starting to show uh, or actually have been showing up some AAA titles. I mean that AAA developers don't really make games like this anymore. Um, the, the, the one uh, that comes to mind most recently is probably Resident Evil 7. That's probably the last really big AAA um, developed game that was actually pretty, pretty scary. Uh, but this, uh, this is really good. It's really well done. Um, I feel like this is... Uh, this is one of those uh, one of those games that that draws a lot of inspiration from a lot of other games and makes it work for them. You know, they don't just throw. It's not super overdone with one thing or the other. You know, it's uh, they had some Silent Hill influences there, especially towards the end. They had the Silent Hill influences with those with those characters, especially uh, obese guy and and whatever that uh, you know whatever that dude was about in, in the end. And, um, and uh, you know, you had your mixture of PT, uh, you had your mixtures of layers of fear for whatever reason with the painting changing and things like that. And uh, some uh, fatal frame. Uh, that's just what I got from it, but I think that they did it really well. And uh, it just goes to show that you don't need, you know, uh, just a ton of, of, uh, of jump scares and you don't need just a ton of, uh, you know, you don't need a you don't need to be a AAA develop, uh, developer in order to make good horror games because they're not really making them anymore. Um, and I'm glad that I'm glad that PT came out and uh, and just stopped, you know, stopped development of Silent Hills because it left this this void in gamers and in developers alike. They wanted something like that, you know. <laughs> And uh, and people are now trying to piece together these these stories to uh, to uh, fill that that hole. Um, I gotta sneeze. See if it'll come out this time. Look at the light. No. 
But anyhow, <laughs> God dang, it's such a such a dick tease <laughs> whenever you can't sneeze. Anyhow, as I was saying, I'm you know, like I said, I'm glad I'm glad uh, PT came out and left people hungry for this kind of horror. Uh, a little bit more of a psychological type of horror than than just an in your face popping out of everywhere kind of kind of horror game and and that I, I know that that this does have some of that in it um, but you know it, it wasn't so overblown and wasn't it wasn't just full of them sort of like uh, like other games that relied on them uh, you know you hear like audio cues whenever uh, Sarah is 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 going to be showing her face and, and you can either hide or you can choose to banish her with light or your camera and that's pretty cool you know you're not completely helpless even uh, even though you should be because Gary is an asshole man <laughs> but uh, but no I mean and that's another thing the story was was pretty solid too uh, from what I gathered they had a uh, they had a son named Michael Michael ended up dying of a freak crib accident I guess I don't know this I think I heard one of the radio broadcasts say something about they uh, recalled those uh, those cribs or whatever uh, because it broke and I guess he hit his head and, and it killed him and uh, Gary Gary uh, turned to drinking as opposed to turning to his wife and, and leaning on her through through that kind of thing and found some book at a cabin that made him uh, believe that he could talk to his son or bring him back to life or, or something. And so he started doing these things. And uh, actually, you know what? I take that back. There was another. There was another uh, portion in that in that book from that from that other guy that was leaving notes. It kind of gets a little jumbly. The guy said that you know you sacrifice your firstborn son for for power, but. Uh, I, I I don't know I don't know why Gary would just decide to do that I feel like he was just maybe trying to uh, trying to commune with his son trying to talk to his dead son and in doing so uh, let out something that he probably shouldn't have became I'm guessing possessed in some form or fashion killed his wife and uh, this is you being tormented by her soul but your last good thing that you can do for her is to release her spirit, you know. And you, regardless, you're still going to hell. Which obviously Gary went to hell there at the end. And uh, Monster's holding his baby by the skull and, you know, axes him. Which is <laughs> pretty fucked up. Uh, so, that's just my takeaway from it. I think they did a really good job. I think... Um, I think uh, I think the story was solid. And I think the mechanics were were pretty good. And, I mean, it, it's got its issues, which which what game doesn't have issues? You know what I mean? It's gonna happen. But but um, I like I like how that this was a uh, was a full experience. Um, um, so it left me feeling a little bit more satisfied than than Visage has so far. Was I still have a lot of questions about Visage? Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the, the, the next chapters of that game come out and make it a, a well-rounded game sort of like this one is. And I, I think it looks like the, the engine for Visage is a little bit more demanding than this one, which might be a play, you know, uh, um, might be a, might be a reason why, uh, production is a little bit slow. I also, I don't know how big that team is either. That's a, that's another indie, indie, uh, driven horror game. But I really like the direction that they went, and uh, I like the direction all these indie horror games are going in. <clears throat> Gives us something to look forward to, and uh, I'm glad I played Infliction. Uh, I feel like it's kind of under the radar, but but uh, I'm glad I found it. Like I said, I just stumbled across it on my Steam, uh, looked into it, looked pretty cool, decided to buy and download it. And, here we are. Finished. Uh, finished up another. Uh, finished up another series on the for the channel. So. So yeah, I liked it. It was a good game, and it and it started to uh, started to scare me there more toward the end. 
I didn't feel quite as directionless in this game as I have in Visage, uh, although there toward the end with the hill being possessed four times and her killing me four times, and I didn't, you know, I tried standing under lights, it didn't work, I just happened to stand under one in a, in a smaller room and, and she was vanished, so there's that. And I do apologize for all that death, but but uh, that's that's how these things go, them's the breaks. <laughs> but, uh, but anyhow, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here, this series here, and I hope um, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you had uh, hope you had some some scares and 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 probably more than uh, more than more than a few laughs and maybe more than way more than a few uh, face palms as I as I uh, got destroyed by my angry wife. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. So uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll see uh, I'll see you guys in the next series, the next video, whatever it is I might I might uh, I might pick up and do. Like I said, uh, I might uh, slow down on the horror games here coming up pretty soon. I'll probably end up playing a few more uh, through uh, through the rest of the month. Yeah, I don't have much longer anyway. And there's a, there's a few little things that I saw that that would be probably like one video type type deals. And then after that, who knows? I'll see. Uh, See what uh, see what catches my eye, and we'll play it. But until then, thanks guys for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more of me. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.